two scales of justice where two former Safaricom employees facing charges of stealing customer data were found with laptops loaded with the data using during the arrest. Our director of criminal investigation, Sergeant Peter Miner, said told the court that police also found communication that the duo had with a third party who they were selling the data for in use of betting business. The accused also faced charges of demanding 300 million shillings from Safaricom to return the data. The two former senior Safaricom employees, Simon Billy Kinothia and Brian Joroge Wamatu, are alleged to have illegally copied and transferred privileged Safaricom database to an authorized person, Charles Njiguna Kimani, on diverse dates between May 1st and June 7th, 2019. When the trial entered its second day, uh, Director of Criminal Investigations, Sergeant Peter Miner, detailed how the duo and another person, Benedict Kabogi, hashed the scheme. We managed to arrest, uh, we found them in a pub. We recovered from, from Billy. We also recovered one laptop. We also recovered the 100. The accused also face a separate count of allegedly demanding 300 million shillings from Safaricom to return the data. The hearing continues before Chief Magistrate Wendy Mishemi. <laughs> Meanwhile, two businessmen have been released on a 1 million shillings cash bill or 2 million shillings bond after denying 11 counts of fraud and forgery. Jackson Ndungo Chothi and Peter Karimi Miano are alleged to have forged a certificate of competency from mining and petroleum CS John Munez. The father accused of using the forged certificate to defraud a company 15 million shillings purporting to be their partners in a business in Involving collection and sale of colonial antiques. The case will be mentioned on February 11th, 2022. Finally, a Garissa court has directed that the suspect in the poisoning of Garissa nominated MCA Queen Teresia be held for seven more days. Bernard Katana, together with Josephine Ambula, a house help, are alleged to have attempted to murder the MCA by mixing her prescribed syrup with a liquid suspected to be poisoned on the 11th of January. Katana, however, denied the charge, saying he did not know Ambula and further claimed that his life was in danger because they live in the same locality with a complainant. The case will be mentioned on the 2nd of February. Serafina Roby for Prime Edition.